how are you welcome on my channel i hope you are having a wonderful day morning afternoon evening whatever time it is wherever you are in the world hello everyone it's a beautiful day we are in india it looks like summer here <laughs> Actually, it's it's February now, but this weather back home in Romania, it's in July, and they are having it here in February. This is amazing. So since it's such a beautiful weather, I thought I would make a vlog from outside to enjoy the view a little bit. As you can see, clear blue sky behind me. I have a few guests over here. <laughs> Some uh, pigeons are circling around. I hope they don't take a shit on me while I'm doing the vlog. <laughs> I want to talk about the nitrogen system today because at the moment I'm working on a chemical tanker and all the chemical tankers and uh, product tankers have either nitrogen system or IG system. Any of them is fine. On this chemical tanker we have a nitrogen system N2 for short uh, I will attach after this short introduction uh, another short video which I made around the nitrogen compressors and the nitrogen system itself while it was in use because uh, before we arrived here now we are loading kerosene this is the cargo that we are loading now before we arrived here we had to uh, do a, a proper tank cleaning and after the tank cleaning we had to do a blanketing with N2 with the nitrogen that is the procedure to have uh, everything in good order uh, the purpose of the nitrogen is to reduce the oxygen content in the cargo tanks because being a chemical tanker sometimes we are uh, loading dangerous cargo like we are doing now we are loading kerosene this is the special fuel that jet planes are using it and it's very volatile cargo so after before loading you have to inert the tanks and after loading you have to inert again the tanks to reduce the oxygen content in the tank because this is a very very volatile uh, cargo and even uh, you are you are not allowed even with the cell phones on deck never mind a cigarette and a lighter or anything like that even a cell phone is not allowed on deck near dangerous cargo actually on chemical tankers cell phone is not allowed on deck anytime even on the bridge is not allowed so it's a, a quick advice for you if you are a cadet and you will be joining the vessel anytime soon or you are just curious these are the rules over here so this nitrogen uh, system is very very important for this type of vessel and before we arrived here we already uh, blanketed the tanks the cargo tanks this uh, particular system here the nitrogen system is it has two lines one is for 95 percent nitrogen and another one is for 99.9 percent .9 nitrogen this one the second one I only used for inspection purposes I have never used it on cargo but I suppose if you have uh, danger, very dangerous cargos you are uh, supposed to use that the 99.9 percent .9 nitrogen anytime I was on board and also for calibration or whenever we are starting it on a weekly basis I'm using it on the on the 95 percent you will see in the video that is attached after this introduction when I was filming around the nitrogen system while we were blanketing the tanks you will see the nitrogen analyzer the, sorry you will see the oxygen analyzer and you will uh, see that uh, the percentage there is uh, below 5% because you are using 95% nitrogen so the difference of 5% 5 per, 5 must be oxygen and you will see on the recording that it was 4 point something 3.8 between 3.8 and 4.5 that is that is just fine 
depends on the pressure that you are using on the tanks because if they open more tanks the pressure will go down and the oxygen content will increase so you have to speak with the tech guys to make the proper arrangements not to open too many tanks and then you fuck up the system no god please no 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 we had to teach them a little bit to have patience of course everybody wants to finish in 10 minutes but you cannot open all 14 tanks and expect to have a, a proper nitrogen blanketing it's not possible it is not calibrated to do a nitrogen blanketing on all 14 tanks which are here it's not possible but the deck guys do not always have patience never mind we teach them we tell them what to do and after they are understanding because we are a team here and we have to work together so this is the purpose of the nitrogen system uh, every week according to the manual that is from the maker you have to start this nitrogen system even if it's not in use you have to start it every week for two or three hours it has because it has some special filters particular fi filters that has to be uh, in use on a weekly basis because the system itself is doing some calibration and it has to use these uh, filters otherwise if you are not using it for many many months whenever when you all start it for the first time the filters will just fuck up they will disintegrate it completely and uh, this is what it is if some of the guys that are watching here have never been on board a chemical tanker this is an advice to you that you will see a uh, nitrogen systems on most chemical tankers the inerting system will be on uh, product tankers so whenever you are coming from my point of view the nitrogen system it's easier to use yeah it has a lot of sensors because it has to detect the pressure in the tank the pressure on the line uh, 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 the oxygen in the analyzer the oxygen in the N2 room and another pressure switches all over the place but once you get the handle of this on one vessel you will not have any issue on uh, the other vessels because uh, they are all the same once you learn and you get the hang of it on one vessel whenever you go and you see a nitrogen system you will know exactly what to do so the first time when you are coming you have to check the manual a little bit and then you will have no no problem sometimes the uh, oxygen analyzer fucks up sometimes there is some pressure switch that is not doing the proper job but you will learn like everything in life you know the for the first time everything in life is difficult even tying your own shoes but once you learn it you will not have any issue i have been working on chemical tankers for many many years so this type of uh, system is not an issue for me i have worked also on product tankers so i have experience with uh, ig systems as well and i do not like the ig systems especially those valves always getting stuck you have to use a spanner a hammer or whatever jesus this is here is more refined the nitrogen system is more refined more more tuned better settings and uh, i have never used force to open some valve or whatever so i like this better the nitrogen system but i suppose it's a personal choice depends on your experience so that's about it that's uh, the nitrogen system i just want to tell you a few words about the system itself before i show you a short video like i already said around the nitrogen system that we used i hope you will enjoy it and if you are not already subscribed to the channel maybe you will subscribe after this video thank you very much enjoy